So guys, I've been waiting for my Apple Card invitation to come to me for days and days and days now. It feels like my whole life, but it's only been less than a week. I've been checking my wallet app over and over and over and over, and I finally have the ability to apply. So I thought, what's better than applying live on camera? We can see what I get approved at. Hopefully it's not embarrassing. Hopefully I actually do get approved. I can kind of go through the application process with you so you know what to expect um, just in case you don't want to get like a hard credit hit. And there's honestly a lot of information that I can't really show you because it's like my, my phone number and all that stuff. So if I'm not showing you the screen right now, it's probably for a good reason. And now we're at the spot where it wants my address. Now it wants the last four of my social. And now it's just spinning for a little bit. Now it wants my annual income. And it's basically showing me the terms and conditions. So right now the annual percentage rate is 12.99 to 23.99%. If I get a lower interest rate, it means my credit is pretty good. If I get a higher interest rate, it means my credit isn't as good. And of course your interest rate is variable. So it's based on the prime rate of the market. So 12.99 could go up or down based on prime going up or down as well. And fees, good thing, no annual fee, no transaction fee, no penalty fees, no other fees. That is great. And it even says at the bottom, prime rate, variable APRs are based on the 5.25% prime rate as of August 2nd, 2019. Prime actually did go down from 5.5 to 5.25%. Banker knowledge. So now it is submitting my application right here. I'm actually looking at it in the viewfinder as you are looking at it. Hopefully we get something good. And I, oh. <sighs> Why, they gave me a crap. <laughs> I'm actually kind of like shocked. Okay, so the APR, I didn't get the best APR, the best, you saw what that was. I kind of got like mid tier. But my credit limit is actually kind of shocking because I have cards like with over a $20,000 credit limit. So I just find that very weird that they would approve me for 6,500. Not that I really care because I'm never going to be buying an Apple product that's $6,500. Um, but I do want to accept this because I do want to get the card in the mail and unbox it and everything like that. I'll set this as default card later. Now it's just adding my card right now. Card added, continue. It just gives you an introduction to Apple Pay and it says I'll I will receive my physical card in the, in the mail in five to seven days. And I'm just confirming my address. And just like that, it's in my wallet, $6,500 limit, blah, blah, blah. So very good. Okay, so I was about to pack up shop. And after I stopped being irritated about my $6,500 credit limit, I just had to sit back and think about it. This was probably the easiest credit card application I've ever done in my life. So obviously Apple has a lot of information on me already, but to apply, I only put in the last four of my social. I didn't have to even, put in my driver's license information, everything was pretty much already there. So if you're an iPhone user already, you can probably go from beginning to end in like a minute or two. And that's unheard of. And I did this on my phone, like obviously on a keyboard, on a full size computer, I could type way faster, but this was just super simple. All your information was already there. So, it's a good thing that all my information was already there, but it's also kind of scary that our information is out there so readily available, but whatever. I'm happy to be an Apple Card holder. So there we go, guys. That is me applying for the Apple Card, getting depressed because I only got a $6,500 limit, but oh well. Um, I'm just curious how the unboxing experience is once I get the physical card in the mail. So definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll be uploading that as well in the near future. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.